one to coronavirus getting answers and this week it's national nurses week and it only seems right during these tough times that we're all going through that we show respect for the nurses on our show we're very proud to do this joining us today darlene kuna she is the chief nursing officer for mercy medical center darlene welcome to the show we are happy to have you on thank you so much taylor it's wonderful to be here so the first question, just want to kind of gauge where you are, get a pulse of, of what's happening over there at Mercy and for the healthcare industry as a whole. What are some of the big challenges you're facing right now within this pandemic? So thank you for that question. I do believe there are two challenges right now that nurses are facing. And the, the challenges are resiliency and burnout. And if I can just talk a minute about resiliency. You know, nurses are being asked to take on additional roles to fill gaps in staffing, and every role has been impacted, from critical care to labor and delivery, if you can believe it. They're being asked to cross-train and work in other clinical areas that may not be within their specialty. But they're the ones that are performing the COVID screening, they're taking care of the most critically ill, and they're communicating between the patient and their loved ones, all while, all while caring for those who may be dying. It really has been stressful. But even during the H1N1 swine flu pandemic, nurses were not impacted the way they are with COVID-19. Their roles are now more important than ever. And they're often, you know, the last person to really offer compassion to their patients. But despite all these challenges, I have found the nurses here at Mercy to be innovative, creative, and resilient in leading in the midst of the crisis. As for burnout, even before the COVID crisis hit, Burnout levels amongst nurses were escalating, and the COVID pandemic has really stressed an already stressed healthcare system. What I do know about nurses is that in a crisis, they show up. What's more concerning now are the long-term consequences, and I'm referring to post-traumatic stress. As you know, that accumulates over time, and we can't wait to take measures to manage that distress. We have to begin now. At Mercy, we're addressing this head on. We have Code Journey, and this is a song that is played whenever a COVID patient is now leaving the hospital and their health has been restored. This gives nurses a chance to celebrate with that patient as they're leaving. Nurses and healthcare professionals line the halls, and we actually celebrate by clapping and singing as the patient leaves. This has really given some buoyancy to the, to the staff. We have employee assistant programs that we partner with, um, with our employees offering emotional support. We also have resiliency rounds, and we, we really welcome feedback so we understand where, pay, where our staff are, are feeling the stress, and we're hoping that we can be there for them before this becomes uh, a, a very distressful event for them. Very uh, thoughtful answer right there, Darlene. And we got about 30 seconds left, so I just want to ask you, just to kind of sidebar off of that, what do you say to the people who are out there uh, basically saying nurses know what they signed up for, like, it, it, and now we're in this pandemic? What do you say to them? We got about 30 seconds left. Could you repeat that question? I, uh, just I curious, like, what do you say to the people out there who say, hey, nurses, uh, they're vocal right now, looking for their appreciation. And some people are saying that nurses knew what they signed up for. They shouldn't be complaining about this profession. Do you, what do you say to those people? So nurses, you know, seldom complain. And, and really, we're here to celebrate them. Uh, nurses have always stepped up healing humanity for decades. Uh, they've taken on so very many different roles, and today they continue to steadfastly do so with the COVID-19 pandemic. I ask for a little bit of uh, compassion and, and resiliency amongst all of our colleagues and the community, as the nursing profession has long and vitally been important to the legacy in our nation's history. This is Darlene Kuna of uh, Mercy Medical Center. Nurses Appreciation Week right now. We certainly do appreciate you. Thank you for coming on the show today. And for all of you at home, if you do get a chance here today, you happen to see a nurse out there, thank them. No doubt about that, because they're doing this for us. Resilient, as Darlene was talking about. All right.